We're proud to be back. 2011. Uh, you, you've noticed the um, online on YouTube. We had the pleasure of having the uh, Dominic uh, a, a visit at Dominic's uh, home to uh, have a little bit of uh, our childhood memories rekindled through food and conversation. So we're back. And Dominic uh, brought to our attention that there's the proper way of opening up a beautiful bottle of wine. And we have a special guest today, my son Marcel, Marcel Mazuka, and Dominic, please, lovely present your, present your mom, who's in the... My lovely mother, Maria. Yeah, okay. Okay. And we have, we, have little, we have little Tony that's going to come in the scene. In a, in a come bit. here, Anthony. Come on in. And so Dom is going to take us through the proper way of opening up a bottle of wine, because... We just can't take for granted that it's just corked and labeled and, 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 and purchased and enjoyed. But what's the proper way to open up a bottle of wine? And you're going to explain that to my son, Marcel. I will. Uh, first of all, welcome again. Oh, my, my pleasure. Thank you for, for it coming. It's uh, absolutely uh, my pleasure. More than welcome uh, to home anytime. And I'm happy mm -hmm. that, you're, that you're here and extremely happy that Marcel's with us uh, today. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's an honor, privilege to have you over. Anthony, thank you very much. Thank you. For coming. Thank you. My mother, for the of course. Hospitality all the time. Ma vam buliat, krupi pijamas. Na paturoja, krupi pijamas dindiwa. So actually, why we're we're, we're uh, of course with the video uh, showing, we ran out of wine. So oh. I go, uh, I go, I got to open up a bottle of wine. So I was thinking, I go, you know what? Since Marcel, just to to show up, because I have worked in the restaurant industry myself. Uh, just to show the, the proper way to open up a, uh, a bottle of wine. It doesn't matter what kind of, of wine, but a, a bottle of wine, of course, uh, you want to open it up in a way that you don't uh, rip the, the, the lead wrap. So it has to look good, too. It has to look good. Uh, along with it, you have a nice bottle. You want to serve it that it, it hasn't been uh, tampered with. Tampered yeah. with damage. You want to open it up Nice now here's first of all what I always have when I open up a bottle is a small little knife. knife. But in Calabres we want to call it there's a now but there's a do but then there's a courte so this makes is a smaller this is a smaller because this is the nukurti. Yeah. This is a big one like I could use this knife too. You say, what are you going to use this? I'm going to open up a bottle. What am I going to use a knife for? I'm going to show you why I need the knife. A big one, I cannot control the pressure as well as I can on a small one. It's easier to hand. Okay? Now, here's the bottle of wine. It doesn't matter what it is. Okay? Now, usually on a bottle of wine, you'll have the lead wrapping. Okay? Basically, uh, also for security purposes that it hasn't been tampered with and also to make sure there's no air that gets out. Being corked, there's no air. There's, trust me, there's no air going to be going through. But when you put the lead, the, the lead wrapping, it encases everything. Right on. Okay, now, you're going to say, I know there's some people that I've got this Oh, I've heard you. Yeah. It's easy. I mean, they've got, the, they've got the hand pressure ones. They've got hydraulic corkscrews. No fancy, there's fancy. There's different types. Uh, this one, um, I like using this one because um, it's more controlled. The 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 bottle is uh, is at one place, and you're using the corkscrew to do the work. The the keys which are going up and down, and with the pressure, you will lift up the cork. I, this is an easier way for them, but well, doesn't we, matter what corkscrew you use, right? I'm we gonna, we used to do this. Yeah. When you were a kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a good toy when you were a kid. But it's it actually a, a really good tool. Yeah, it's a good tool. Uh, no cocker screw. <laughs> no cocker screw. <laughs> no cocker screw. <laughs> no, 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 But I'm wondering if that did they have. I'm not sure of the technical no, there's, term. There's a proper name for it, but uh, <laughs> that'll be for that. That'll oh, be no, no. Not up a boutique. Not up a boutique, yeah. Right. That's, That's an saying. open, op a bottle opener. But it's not really a bottle opener, it's a cork. I mean, there's many types of courses, uh, courses. but here's what we're going to do with the All right. Here's a bottle of wine, okay? Now, you grab it with your hand firmly. Now, as you'll see, you'll see the lip of the bottle, right? And then you go 
just about a quarter inch below the lip of the bottle. Now sometimes the lip will have an overhang, so you just go right below. What you do, put the bottle on angle, or you can do it like this through the lead wrap. But you don't want to put too much pressure, because then you'll, uh, you'll rip the lead, and it won't be a nice smooth cut. So you just slowly, once, twice, and it should come off. And it did. You see how nicely cut that is? So you got a clean cut. So when you're pouring the wine, you're not the wine is not touching the lead wrapping because although I mean there's no you don't have to worry about any uh, uh, contamination or anything, but it's nice that the wine itself is pouring from the glass and not touching anything else. And then of course. Uh, with uh, when you're un when you're uncorking the uh, the wine bottle. Now, uh, one one thing about wine wine bottles should always be placed um, on an angle, so the the, the cork itself is always being uh, uh, basically lubricated by the wine. So the, the 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 cork maintains a subtle. It's very supple. Supple's the word, right? And it also keeps uh, keeps from moisture leaving. A dry cork also uh, yes, cork. yes, that, that, that's true too. But it, it, uh, the other, the other uh, uh, helpful uh, reason why is that when you do open up the cork, it's supple. It'll just come off easily. Where if it's never touched the wine, it becomes very, very dry. Okay, and sometimes it'll give you a lot of trouble when you're when you're trying to open it up, right? So again. You know, you grab your, your corkscrew, make sure you have it secure in your hand. And in this case, make sure when you're when you're screwing in the corkscrew itself, make sure the whole corkscrew is in the cork itself. So it's all in there. Don't leave it just half out because basically what you're doing is you're gonna start ripping uh, the cork from the middle up. If you got the whole cork in there, it's t it's all the the pressure is evenly distributed throughout the whole cork. So I've got everything in there, as you see. Now it's just a matter of a lot with the with its own pressure. Put it between your legs again. Grab. Whoa, that's the magical the sound. And that's the magical nice. sound. Yes, that's a cleanly open. And the cork, remember, never throw out the cork. Remember a cork, turn it upside down, and you recork your wine. Well, that really concludes an easy lesson, a sort of uh, opening a bottle 101 with Dominic, and thanks for showing us that. And, uh, and are we supposed to drink that? Yeah, no, we're gonna, I got okay. my bike. Because, uh, you know what? I, I've seen too many bottles of wine. This is all ripped. Or you'll get the people say, no, it's okay. You just open it up through the lead. No. No, no, no we've seen that before. No. Yeah. Explosion of craziness. This, this is the way. Oh, see? Well, thank you very much. You see how clean that is? Opening up an Italian bottle of wine with Dominic. Classic. Opening up a bottle 101 with an old style corkscrew. And uh, it's great. Thank you very much. Yeah, little touches that, uh, little small cosmetic touches that add to the ambiance. And nice clean edge. Yes. Thank you. I'm going to have to try red. This is a big cabrilla card. Signor Brava da Bro. I'm going to have a Dominic and a Barato 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 and Marcel, that's good. Now you're going to be open up. You can practice at home. <laughs> huh? No, but you know what? When you start doing it, when you go out, you go like to some of your friend's house or... You, uh, let me open it because you'll open it nicely. And people go, hey, and they'll call you. I, they call me, Doug, can you open it for us?